Hello, hello, it's Monica from Crafting with Queen Lady and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a slightly different video for you. Yesterday I went to Craftorama at Alexandra Palace in London and it is a crafting event where you can meet amazing crafters but also beautiful shops with amazing supplies. So I thought it would be a great idea to share with you what I got and I'm going to tell you later on about who did I meet there which was absolutely amazing. So the very first thing I bought was this embossing folder pack. So as you can see it was two pounds and it has those amazing Minnie Mouse embossing folders, Mickey Mouse, also one from Winnie Pooh and the one from Frozen. And when I saw it I thought I can make so many cards for little girls with those ones. The next item I bought was from Heartfelt Creations. I absolutely love this brand, but it is so expensive. So when I saw that orchid stamp, I couldn't resist because I teach at school and actually my class is called orchid class. So I thought this would be perfect to use to create something with my students. So in the packaging, you also have the stamp with orchid, but also the bed. And there are matching dice, so stay tuned for some examples with those dice and stamps. The next one was vellum, but this is not um, the vellum you get. It's not the plain one. It had beautiful designs and it made me think about lace. So let's have a look at it. Okay, so... As you can see, this one has so many beautiful designs and it looks like this one has two or oh, maybe actually three of the same design. I really like it. And this one is super, super beautiful. It looks like real lace. Have you ever seen vellum with those designs? Because this one was the very first time for me and I absolutely loved it. So I thought, why not? Let's give it a go. So, so beautiful. And this one is the last design. Let's just have a look. This one makes me think about Art Deco. And you'll see in a few moments that I got something with Art Deco style as well. Then I got that cutting die and it looks stunning. And my very first thought would be to create a shaped card especially for weddings. If you look at it, it has the outer edge, but also that ornament here, and then an oval inside with another decorative element. So I thought that would be perfect. And you can use it this way or this way. I absolutely love it. So stay tuned for some shade cards. When I saw this set from Tatred Lace, I thought, for five pounds. I just cannot go wrong with it. And it is also a stepper card. So let's have a look at all the elements included here. So as you can see, we've got the shape to create the base for the card, but also lots of elements that you can use for a variety of projects. And when I saw this die, I thought it would be perfect for weddings. So I need to choose the color scheme and I will get creative. On the same stall, they had amazing stamp sets. So I thought I absolutely love mas making masculine cuts, but I don't really have that many supplies. So as you can see here, there is a cool stamp set that you can use for a variety of projects. You've got some sneakers and there is a smaller one here. There's a beer, shirt, cake you can use for lots of occasions. Uh, balloon, stamp set, hearts, literally anything you need. So I thought for five pounds, why not? Then, that is the most beautiful stamp set in the world, isn't it? It is with Art Deco style. So when I saw it, I thought I need it in my life. I absolutely love Art Deco style. If you know my channel, you know how many projects I created with that art style. So this stamp set collection would be perfect for even more Art Deco style cards. 
Then later on, I uh, decided to go back again to Ali Pali uh, just after the coffee break. And I found those two pack sets and it was like for three pounds, 25 sheets, or you could get two of them for five pounds. I thought I really want some beautiful paper to make some envelopes for my projects. So I thought that was the idea. But then when I open it, I changed my mind. I'm going to use it for even more projects than envelopes. So let's have a look what's inside. Um, so the design papers are absolutely beautiful. And actually the brand here is from Sweden that I've never heard of. If you know it, please let me know in the comments down below. And to be honest, I was so amazed at Ali Pali because I met new friends. And with some of them, I actually followed them on YouTube or Instagram, like Monica, Paper Mona. But I also met Cheryl, who has amazing shops with American brands for crafting. So I'll leave all the links in the description down below if you're interested. And also, I met Mel. It was an absolutely amazing experience because we did talk a lot about crafting. And maybe at some point we are going to have a craft along together. And I think that is such a great idea. And it turned out that some of them, they actually live very close to me. So that makes crafting life even more easier, right? So what do you think about this color palette in the design papers? On some of them it says they were made in... 2014 or 2011 but even then i think these are stunning papers some of them are slightly thinner some of them slightly thicker but even then it would be perfect to make envelopes or even some decorative boxes or shadow boxes so i just can't wait look at this this is amazing and it can go very well with any retro cards vintage style especially with the brown look at what the opposite side i love it it's perfect for any coffee lover absolutely stunning and the color palette is just so different because i think they took papers from different collections and put them together this light gray would be perfect for wedding anniversaries and those brights may be for some birthday cards. I'm not really sure yet. But the idea was to make envelopes. But now I'm not really sure. Have you ever heard about brands from Sweden? This one is called, I think you say Maja Design or Maya Design. I'm not really sure. But it does say scrapbooking from Sweden. And even at the bottom, you've got some decorative elements as well you can use for a variety of projects. And some of them you can cut into four and have beautiful background panels for your 6x6 six six inches cut bases. Just look at those, with all those vintage elements. So, so beautiful. These would be perfect for baby boy cuts, right? Here makes me think about uh, winter. And this one, I've never had any design paper with some champagne glasses, so I thought this would be perfect. And those butterflies at the bottom. I think they knew that I absolutely love butterflies. This one is another set, but some of the elements are exactly the same. But these cars make me think about vintage and retro style again. And why not? Let's create some masculine projects later on. If you have your favorite company that creates design papers, please let me know in the comments down below, because these are absolutely stunning. And I've never heard of this brand before. This one would be perfect for some wedding cuts. Just look at the top elements, so beautiful. And again, we've got some panels that you can create for six by six inches projects. And those pinks would be perfect for baby girl cards, right? Look at those stunning, absolutely stunning. And even then, you can create smaller projects. Some of the papers here are exactly the same, but I don't really mind. Maybe in that case, I will actually create envelopes with them for my projects. 
I love that style for the background paper. So, so beautiful. And those browns, perfect. I don't really have that many papers with brown and gray. So I'm so, so surprised. For 250, this is a stunning collection. I know it's not the full collection, but even then you can use different pieces like those here at the bottom to create very nice elements for your cards. Oh, sorry, look at the back. So cool, right? Then those colors scream, I love colors. And that's exactly what I like. I love colors. I love playing with colors and experimenting with those. And to be honest, I'm so happy. I've got two pieces of this design paper with amazing butterflies because I love them, if you know me. And I'm going to use them. Absolutely. So, so beautiful. And those coffee pots at the bottom. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. So do you think it was worth 250 for that pack of card? Because it is very good quality as well. So I thought, yeah, let's give it a go. Look, even more butterflies. These ones are even bigger. So, so beautiful. That is a really cool grid that you can use for someone who likes geography, maybe. I love it. I absolutely love it. But that was not the end. I did get some envelopes. I always need envelopes. So I've got them in 7x7 seven seven inches. Again, 7x7. Seven seven. And again, I bought three packs of them because I always end up with no envelopes. Then I've got 8x8 eight eight inches, two packs, and one pack 5x7 inches. And now this is my totally favorite card when it comes to scan and cut machine because it's 12 by 12 inches, 350 GSM, and there are 35 sheets. And these, all the, um, all the products you can see, they come from Lime Tree Craft. Uh, you can check them online. They've got a massive variety of beautiful cardstock, but I wanted just to go and get this one. That was the whole idea behind Craftorama. So I got three of those. Then I got one set of A4, 300 GSM white card. And this one is super smooth for alcohol markers. So I can stamp lots of images and color them in. And this one is my very last 12 by 12 inches white card. Let me know in the comments which one did you like the most, which one would you like me to try very quickly and show you a tutorial with some of the supplies I got. And tell me if you've ever been to Craftorama or different crafting event with your friends or maybe alone and what did you get? And in the description down below I also left the links to all the friends I met there. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Here you can see some... Um, some pictures from Craftorama. Have a wonderful day and happy crafting! See you in my next video! Bye!